If you need to free up some space on your Amazon Fire device, I want to show you how to do that now. And it doesn't matter if you have a cube or a stick or whatever Fire device you have, I want to show you how to free up space. Now, first thing you do is just go to Settings, which is the little gear shift looking thing there, right there. And then you want to go down and you want to go to Applications. Go ahead and click on Applications. And then what you want to do is you want to manage installed applications. Now, if you see there where it says internal space, it says how much I have available. So it says I have almost 12 gigs, which is plenty. But if you're like way over here on the very far right, then you know you need to free up some space. So let's go ahead and click manage installed apps. And then from here we're gonna look for we're gonna look for apps that we no longer want or we just wanna maybe take data off. So say for example Netflix, if we go ahead and click on it, if we don't want to uninstall it, what we can do is just clear data first and then clear cache, which is just basically the current uh, memory that it's holding. Don't worry, it's not going to delete anything like your personal information on Netflix. It just clears the, the current memory, and that should fill up, free some space. But let's say you don't want Netflix at all any longer. We just go click up and click uninstall, and that's going to free up a lot more space than just clearing data and cache. And so a lot of times with, with, with the Fire TV, they'll have stuff on here that we don't want anyway. Like Tubi, I don't think I've ever installed. Okay, now if you've done that, and you still need to free up some space, and your device is a little bit older, your Fire device is a little bit older, I'd recommend just do a full factory restore, then install the app that you want to put on there, and then install the other apps that you want to put on there. So what you can do, in order to do that, what you want to do is you want to go all the way down to where it says device and software in settings. Go ahead and click it. Go all the way down and reset to factory defaults. But now keep in, keep in mind this is going to put it back to out of the box state like it, you purchased it brand new. But you'll find if you do this it will actually respond a lot better if it's slow or whatever. Alright, I appreciate you watching and make sure you subscribe.